Hello, math application students. We're going to talk about sequences of arithmetic progressions. So from the last notes, you might have noticed we had the formula u sub n equals u sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. u sub 1 is the very first term. d is the common difference that it's increasing by. So what if I give you an example like this, given 8, 18, 28, and I ask you to find the common difference d. Well, the difference between 18 and 8 is 10. 10. It's increasing by 10, right? So my common difference is going to be 10. Okay, that's this value here. Okay, now if they ask you to state my expression in terms of n, well, we know the very first term is 8, right? So I'm going to replace u sub 1 with 8. I'm going to replace d with 10. And then we're going to have our equation t sub n equals 8 plus n minus 1 times 10. Okay, I replace d with 10, and I replace u sub 1 with 8. Okay, now if they say something like this, determine the 13th term, well, I'm just going to plug in 13 in for n. So then the 13th term is going to be 8 plus 13 minus 1 times 10. Well, 13 minus 1 is 12. 12 times 10 is 120. And 8 plus 120 is 128. Okay. Now, if you're given the formula t sub n equals 15 plus 5 times n minus 1, and they say, okay, let's find out uh, what is the first term. Well, to find the first term, you're going to plug in 1 in for n. Well, I plug in 1 in for n, I'm going to have 1 minus 1 here, right? So 1 minus 1, that's, that's going to cancel out. So 15 plus 5 times 0 is just going to give me 15. This is the first term, 15. Okay, now if they ask you to find d, well, d is the 5, right? But let's just check for understanding here. If I, if I want to find d, I could figure out t sub 2. If I plugged in 2 in for n, I'd have 5 times 2 minus 1. It's going to give me 1. The second term is going to be 20. Well, how much did we increase by? From 15 to 20, we increased by 5. This value here gives us d. Okay. Now, if they say find the ninth term, then, uh, well, basically you just plug in 9 in for n, right? So 15 plus 5 times 9 minus 1. Well, 9 minus 1 is 8. And 5 times 8 is going to give me 40. And 15 plus 40 is going to give me da, 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 55. Okay? And if they ask me, um, oh, one of the things they may ask you to do is rearrange this so we can do distributive property with the 5 and then I'd have 15 plus 5n minus 5, right? And then I could say the 15 minus the 5 is going to give me 10 plus 5n. This is another way to rearrange this equation here, okay? If you need to think about it, replay this video and watch it again. All right, let's do the third example. Given t sub n equals 8, negative 8n plus 28. So if I want to find the first term, guess what? We're going to plug in 1 in place of n. So if I plug in 1 in place of n, 8 times 1 plus 28. So negative 8 plus 28 is going to give me 20. All right. Let's do b. Determine the value of d. Okay, well, to do that, I need to figure out... Uh, what's the second term going to be? Plug in 2 in for n, negative 16 plus 28, and that's going to give me 12. And what's the difference between 20 and 12? It's going down by, guess what? Negative 8. So d is negative 8. And you probably could have figured out that the slope here is negative 8, so d is going to be the same as the slope. Okay, find the fifth term. Just like in the previous example, guess what? We're going to plug in what number in for n? You guessed it, 5, right? So if I plug in 5 in for n, negative 8 times 5 plus 28, we're going to get negative 40 plus 28, which is da, 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 negative 12 is the fifth term.
Okay. All right, now we're going to do some harder questions. Slightly harder, but not too much. Okay. What if they say, we've got an arithmetic progression, and we want to solve, uh, figure out what the, what the value of x is going to be. So this blue guy is the first one. This yellow guy is the second. And this pink one is the third. Now we know the common difference can be found if we do the yellow one minus the blue. Right? And I could find the di common difference by doing the pink one minus the yellow one. Right? Because this to get to this point, I'm adding D. To get to this point, I'm adding D. So to get D, I could do the second term minus the first, or the third term minus the second, and so on. So 6x plus 5 minus x plus 4. I have to put that in parentheses to distribute the minus. Here we've got 9x minus 8 minus 6x plus 5. All right, so let's figure this out. So 6x plus 5 minus x plus 4 is going to give me 6x minus x is going to give me 5x. And 5 minus 4 is going to give me plus 1. And here I've got 9x minus 6x is going to give me 3x. And negative 8 minus 5 is going to give me negative 13. Okay. Now if d is equal to this and d is equal to this, I can set both of these equal to each other. Let's do it. We got 5x plus 1 equals 3x minus 13. Okay, I can subtract 2x on both sides and I get 3x plus 1 equals negative 13. And then I can add one on both, so, oops, sorry, subtract 1 on both sides and then we get 3x equals negative 14. Wait a second. 5x minus 3x. Oops. See. That's going to give me 2x. Not 3x. So 2x equals negative 14. Divide both sides by 2. I get x equals negative 7. Okay. Now let's see if I did that right. Let's plug in negative 7 into my sequence here. So we had x plus 4, 6x plus 5, and 9x minus 8. Okay, we're going to plug in negative 7. So negative 7 plus 4, 6 times negative 7 plus 5, and 9 times negative 7 minus 8. Okay. Well, negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. Okay. And negative 42 plus 5. It's going to give me negative 37. And we've got negative 63 minus 8 is going to give me negative 71. And let's see if that's an arithmetic progression. What's the difference between this and this? This goes down by 34. And what about this? That also decreases by 
34. So we've done it correctly. Subtract 34, subtract 34, so x has got to be negative 7. Okay, if this confused you, you should watch it one more time on your own. Let's do another example. Last example. All right, the fifth term is 21, the 19th term is 77. Determine the value of a and d. Okay, so remember, our formula is t sub n equals a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, we're going to be using this to help us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace n with 5, and that should be equal to 21. So let's write that down. 21 equals a plus, we're replacing n with 5, so 5 minus 1 times d. So I replaced n with 5, I replaced t sub n with 21. Okay, I can simplify this equation to um, 21 equals a plus 4 d. Okay, now let's do it again. Um, we've got, I'm going to replace uh, t sub n with 77, and I'm going to replace n with 19. That's the value of n, right? So now I've got 77 equals a plus n is 19 minus 1 times d. So I replaced t sub n with 77, and I replaced n with 19. Okay. Let's do, okay, well, 19 minus 1 is 18, right? So now I've got 77 equals a plus 18d. So now I've got two equations and two variables. And given this situation, I think the easiest way to solve for the missing variables is using elimination. So I'm going to rewrite the equations next to each other. 21 equals a plus 4d. 77 equals a plus 18d. And if I do elimination, I can subtract this one from this one. And then I'll get, okay, well, 21 minus 77 is going to give me um, negative 56. And a minus a, well, that's going to go away, right? And then 4d minus 18d is going to give me 14, negative 14d. And if I divide both sides by negative 14, then I'm going to get d equals negative 56 divided by negative 14, and d equals 4. Okay. Now, all i got to do is plug in this 4 into one of these two equations. Let's use uh, this equation here. Okay. So we've got 21 equals a plus 4d, right? And I'm going to replace d with 4, okay? So I'm going to replace the d with the 4. So I've got 21 equals a plus 4 times 4, because I replaced the d with the 4, okay? So now I've got 21 equals a plus 4. 16, and subtract 16 on both sides, I get a equals 5. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this equation, except instead of a, I'm going to write 
5, and instead of d, I'm going to write 4. And so my equation is t sub n equals 5 plus n minus 1 times 4. And that is my equation for the arithmetic progression. All right. Hope you guys are able to do this, and good luck, students.